my dear viewers and students welcome back to my youtube research and statistics education channel today the title of topic is from crude oil to petrol fossil fuel and abiotic theory of oil this is from oil and gas economics series and i will cover crude oil origination theories oil reservoirs and oil refining process no one knows how crude oil was formed deep beneath the earth's underground pockets called reservoirs. There are two prominent theories dealing with formation of crude oil. Number one, fossil fuel theory and number two, abiotic theory. Fossil fuel theory presents that oil was formed due to the dead plants and animals decomposed under the earth's surface and remained there over millions of years. Due to the continuous chemical reactions, we find the substance what is called oil. According to abiotic theory, which was proposed by Russian scientists in 20th century, oil flows like lava in the earth's core and passes through mantle and deposits in the puddles underneath the earth's crust. Crude oil can be found in all continents and oceans. Currently, according to the explored oil reserves, Venezuela possesses the most oil and gas reserves, amounting 303.47 billion barrels, Saudi Arabia 267.19 million barrels, and Canada 171 billion barrels. Middle Eastern nations have a sizable quantity of oil reserves which include Iraq, Iran, Kuwait and United Arab Emirates. Countries with large oil reservoirs play an important role in the politics of oil, setting oil prices and shaping world economy through oil refining process. First the oil is extracted from the earth using oil extraction machines. Governments purchase the oil and send it to facility called refinery. During the refining process, crude oil is put into a boiler and turned into vapors to separate the impurities. The vapors move to a distillation chamber which turns the vapors back into a liquid. The magic happens in the distillation chamber. Different types of oils are formed by distilling at different temperatures. For instance, gasoline is distilled at cooler temperature whereas residual oil is produced by distilling at higher temperature. You would be surprised to learn that there are 161 different types of oils produced at different temperatures in the distillation chamber. Every oil product has its own chemistry and usage. For instance, gasoline is used to fuel vehicles, whereas residual oil is used to make asphalt and tar. The session ends here. In my next lecture, I will present some more important topics related to oil economics. Thank you very much for attending me today. Are you tired of rejection of your academic scholarship? Submit your research to International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. With us, you will experience a reputable publishing platform that will guarantee high-quality peer review. Our unique mentorship program enables you to develop your research to increase the chances of publication. Our editors are eminent researchers who will provide the much-needed impetus for your academic works. Visit www.ijms.com and get your work published.